Hey everybody, Bridget Lynn Dolgoff, Conscious of Economics, and Urban Farm Project. Hey there, so I had to dig up, there's some sawdust and broken down wood chips and stuff in this area. So what I did was I cleared off all the underneath and then scraped off and left the bigger piles of material uh, that can be used for kindling. So cleaned out the kindling out of the pile and then I put I don't know maybe 15 um, five gallon buckets of the material that I dug out from underneath so there's some bigger pieces of wood a lot of um, sawdust material you can see how nice that looks now that I've gotten it all filled in and I probably put anywhere from like three to four maybe in some cases six inches of um, mulch that was left over from wood cutting and there's some bigger pieces in there so why would we do um, like this kind of a mulch well number one I'm really big about for stuff that's free just laying around everywhere and um, okay so what would the mulch do uh, lots of things one um, it's going to protect the dirt underneath that I've been cultivating in this garden so it'll protect it from getting heat burnt and scorched which will kill the microbes so by putting the mulch over it it protects the nutrients that I've already built in it and the microorganisms. And then the mulch also um, will uh, also helps with runoff. So winter coming, it'll be able to hold like more water um, on the garden area and absorb it into the deeper layers. Also, it helps with watering. So now that I've really mulched it, I might, if it goes back to cooler temperatures under 80, then I can probably get away with watering it every four days because it's going to hold on to a lot more moisture also it's going to keep my soil from freezing right away because it's going to keep air pocket in there which will help with and it'll have a little bit of you know heat density in the pockets um, and it'll keep you know my soil from freezing freezing all the microbes i'm going to protect them and also um, what else? It aerates and also long term uh, it's going to give all the microbes underneath something to eat. So the soil will have something to eat um, from here on out and over the winter. Um, and when it warms up and it's moist and the microbes will come to the surface and they'll munch out and drag all this stuff underneath and aerate the soil. Because you know it's still, okay so it's sand that I got into dirt and now we have to keep working it which means you know we have to prepare it for fall and winter um, so that it's easy to take care of um, in spring all you have to do is actually plant seeds and you'll be ready to go all right so just lots of ideas on you know mulching and stuff like that and if I get really courageous I might actually go over and get some you know broken down horse poop and put that on top as well so then we'll have eight inches of um, food and different kinds of mulch and uh, yeah all right look at I watered all the wood chips and the lettuce and you can see all the bees and the wasps coming in and getting a little drinky of water love it okay everybody oh and I harvest the sunflowers and you know, as you can dry them just as long as you want to keep them away from, you know, animals and stuff. And then I just started hanging them outside. And then until they dry. And as long as you keep them out of the sun and all that. So, so anyway, there you go. Yay! This is the, this is the biggest one so far. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 
So they're doing good. All right, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Conscious of Economics and Urban Farm Project.